What's going on everybody? My name is Luke and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So today guys, I actually got a tutorial for everybody out there who wants to learn how to make their Minecraft work just a little bit faster and if you're experiencing any lag issues whatsoever. So this is going to be a tutorial on the best settings for Optifine 1.7.2. So let's go ahead and get this video started. I am actually going to go to a uh, new world and I'm going to create it and name it, uh, let's just name it Garfunkel. Gonna have that Garfunkel swag, so let's go and name it Survival. It'll just load up a world, so yeah guys, this is gonna be a very helpful tutorial if you guys are like having a lot of like issues with your lag and stuff. And I'm already assuming you've already like installed Optifine, and this is a tutorial on how to get like better, you know, like settings for your Optifine, and okay, okay, it's kinda like... Alright, so we've loaded up a world, right? As you guys can see, my settings are pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Like, you know, I'm running um, a 60 FPS, so yeah. Um, and my computer is actually okay, you know, like, it's nothing special, it's nothing too special, but, um, it's mostly Optifine that has helped me out with this. So what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna, like, once you have Optifine installed, you're gonna go to your options, video settings, and as you guys notice, you will have a bunch of settings right here. So, first off, you're gonna wanna set your graphics fast, and these are gonna be, like, the fastest settings that you are gonna wanna have. So you're gonna definitely want to set your graphics to fast because you know it just makes things a whole lot more you know faster and like you know it's sort of unneeded as fancy I guess it can kind of like you know if you want to run fancy it just kind of like um it really there's no difference as you guys can see in whatever reason like it's just like not really a difference and I'll turn it over here so you're gonna change that to fast your smooth lining you're gonna want to turn that off and you're gonna turn that all the way down and um your GUI scale is really not really needed Unless if you want it to be really small or, like, normal. But, yeah. Your brightness can actually... You can configure that to whatever you want. I like to have my brightness on bright because I'm a big Hunger Games player. Fog, you're going to want to actually turn that on or off because it can cause lag, as you can see. Off, no fog, fastest. So, if you have, like, fog on, you're going to see a little bit of fog. So, just make sure that's off. And, um, server textures, you're going to keep that off as well. You're going to go to, uh, details now. And as you guys can see here, you're going to basically want to copy down these settings. Uh, make sure your clouds are off and your trees are going to be on fast. Water is going to be on fast. Sky is going to be off. Your sun and moon will be off. Depth and fog will be off. Dropped items, you can actually change that to fast because it will be faster. So you can get, I'm going to keep mine as fancy, but you're going to want to make sure to turn that as fast. So I'll just leave it like that so you guys can copy down this. Your cloud height is going to be off off because like you don't really have clouds so there's not really like any point in having it so grass is actually gonna stay at fast so you can have you know your fast grass and it will improve your FPS your uh, rain and snow will be off your stars will be off your show caps will be um, it this actually really doesn't matter so you guys can actually do whatever you want with that your held item tooltips is that doesn't matter at all either so um yeah so your animations what I really like to do you guys can actually toy around with this I turn all of them off and turn my particles on decreased but basically what this does, it actually turns the animations to like, it really, like it doesn't show fire animation, so if like, as you guys can see, like, you know, it looks good. So I'm actually still getting a 60 FPS, but I'd probably be hitting the hundreds right now if I wasn't recording with fraps. So as you guys can tell, I've actually noticed a little more smoothness in my Minecraft. Um, so it's actually helping so far, but, um, as I was saying, I turned my animations all off, you know, it just turns it off, you can actually turn them on or off, it really, it really, I like to leave them off because, you know, like, I really don't notice them off. I mean, you don't, like, notice fire burning or anything. And just turn the particles on decrease, so that actually helps a lot, believe it or not. Render settings. Now, this is actually, help, believe it or not, this is actually really helpful. Um, so, at first, you're going to probably come to it, and you're, like, you're probably either going to have your Minecraft set to far. And then, I mean, yes, far is okay, but as you guys can tell, like, I'm already lagging just a little bit. So, there's no need in having your render settings up that, like, your um, render distance, not render settings. <laughs> um, but your render distance all the way up that much, but you can turn it on normal like my computer can handle normal If your computer is handy can handle normal then you might as well have it at normal You know my computer can handle it. I like it But I actually leave mine at shorts because of the fact that like I can hit like hundreds with shorts on and as you guys can see Boom back to like a perfect 60 FPS, but anyways, so that is it for a uh, render distance Now if your computer is a little bit laggy then you want to uh, turn that all the way on tiny and as you guys can notice, it's a lot less laggy. So yeah, if your computer's really like has FPS issues, so you're gonna turn it on tiny. So perfect. And performance, you're gonna turn that on unlimited, so it doesn't lock your FPS down to like a certain limit. So just make sure that's unlimited. Your view bobbing, this is actually 
Um, as you see, it says when it says basically more realistic movements and when you're using mini mass silos. But they, basically, if you turn it off, like if you leave it on, you can notice like you can walk animation, like you can have the walk animation. This is actually up to you guys if you want to have this off. I don't really. It, it doesn't really affect my FPS at all. It shouldn't affect your FPS, but I like to leave it off. I just feel more comfortable with it off, but it's up to you. So, Advanced OpenGL, this is actually really helpful. You're going to turn that on fast. Your chunk loading will be on smooth, and your fog will be on... That really doesn't matter because you already turned your fog off, so that will not matter. Your quality, all right, here's where it goes off. Minimap levels are going to be off, and this is going to be off and then clear water off better grass off custom fonts off swamp colors is a big thing this actually helps lag make sure that's off connected textures are on fast custom skies on off minimap uh minimap type will be on nearest and antalizing whatever it's called um will be off random mobs will be off better snow will be off all of this is will be off custom color swamp biomes and natural textures or smooth biome, not swamp biomes, but uh, yeah, just make sure you guys pause and copy this if you need me, like if you didn't catch what I said already, so make sure you pause and, you know, copy these settings down, so um, yeah, performance will be on, alright, smooth FPS will be on, smooth world will be on, load far will be off, preloaded chunks will be off, chunks per frame will be on one, dynamic updates will be on on, and fast math will be off, and then lazy chunk loading on, and then fast render will be on on so yeah and then you will go to your i think did i go over quality yeah, i went over quality and everything now you're gonna go to other and just copy down these settings it's up to you if you want to play in big full screen mode like your entire monitor and have no like little like box around it then that's up to you um make sure your weather's off it's up to you about full screen and uh yeah make sure everything debug profile picture uh debug other debug profile or off time default and then all this other stuff so yeah guys um that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you guys have any questions make sure you guys comment down below this is actually a very like this is my very first like minecraft tutorial that i've ever done so if you guys really liked it make sure you guys subscribe for more you know i'm gonna be pumping out more minecraft content and more minecraft hunger games so make sure you guys subscribe like i said if you guys have any trouble make sure you comment down below just one more time just wanted to get that out because i will be replying to comments if you are having any trouble i hope this video gets me a little bit of recognition because, you know, my channel's growing right now, guys. And just every little bit helps my channel. And I just want to say thank you to everybody out there. You know, happy, like, 2014. And uh, so I'm so happy that Opti Fine 1.7.2 came out. Um, I might actually have a tutorial on this if you guys want me to. So, yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.